Hi, hello, welcome. Today we're doing this everyday kind of glam look. And I say everyday glam because it's a halo eye, which is glam. But I'm gonna close it every day. And it's just, I just really like this look. Like, you can do this makeup look like to go out out and you can wear this look just to be chill but look like you've tried do you know what I mean so I'm really liking this look I can't deny I really can't deny and I hope you guys like it too um with every product the I've already took pictures of the look so but I'm looking different on camera this is the last time I'm gonna say this because I think I've refilmed re everything that needs to be refilmed so yeah and in that picture I did I used a different foundation, different concealer, and I did four freckles. I did leave some out of my natural freckles, but you probably can't tell my camera because the quality is not the best, but it's not the worst, but you probably won't be able to pick up the little fine, fine details. So, in the... Okay, I'm home alone, and why is my house making that noise? That's the one thing about living, I don't even live by myself, I live with my mom and brother, but when you hear a noise and you're by yourself, I don't like it, I don't like it, because I'm the one who has to go and investigate, I think, yeah, it has to be my neighbour, and what's mad is like, the walls, I don't got to say they're really thin, but you can hear when people are moving, so it sometimes sounds like, someone's in your house moving and I have to remind myself it's probably just my neighbour just probably shuffling 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 but what have I got to do that when I'm by myself and in in these uncertain times do you know what I mean but yeah today we're doing this look bomb cute everyday vibes not really much to say but like comment subscribe do all of that and yeah, let's just get straight into it because I want food. Like I say in every single video, I want food. I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go make me some noodles. And then we can just get on with the video. Let's try that again. Hello, hi. The microphone wasn't plugged in, so let's just do the introductions again. So, first of all, first things first, grab your drink. Coffee vibes today. Feeling a tired mess. I really, really am. For a second time, the Be Perfect Carnival palette. This is the um, collaboration with Stacey Marie, the makeup artist. And just look at this. Can you see? Am I straight? There we go. Look at it. And I love this palette so much. Like, I need to dabble into the colors, but mine's is liking what she's seeing. Okay. So, first thing is first. So first, I've got there in the end, I am going to take my Morphe E22 brush and I'm going into Rowdy, which is this nice deep brown shade. It almost like got like a hint of purple. It's got purpley brown, but it goes on more brown when you actually blend it out. So that's the shade I'm going into first. And this is literally going to be like one of the easiest halo eyes you've ever done in your life. Like, you've got time to be blending. 15 shades it's fine you two shades well maybe three because you need two mattes and a shimmer a shim shimmer in my bim bimmer do you see how pigmented <gasps> listen i'm just saying i'm gonna take this brush you everyone needs this brush this is the zoeva lux defined crease brush the 224 brush and it's just mm, perfect i'm gonna go into shade basic which is like the hell? Which is yeah, so I'm going to basic, which is this <laughs> my nails in the way. Like cappuccino y warmish like no I see more neutral, like neutrally brown kind of shade. And then this is literally gonna just blend out that harsh line. So I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna do circular motions, windscreen wrap motions. 
to blend out the line. And it's all fluffy and soft. Alright, happy with that for now. Next I'm going to take like a smaller brush to the previous brush. This is the Morphe E17 brush. I'm going to go back into Rowdy. And then I'm going to start to pack this odd on the outer and inner corner. Right now it can be messy because we are going to go in with concealer. I just want to first like pat it on. Especially on the inner corner. I'm going to get it. And we'll back in with the P. Louise base and then we're actually just going to do the halo. I'm just going to take a bit on like a concealer brush. Do you know another reason why I love this base? It actually lasts a long time because looking at it, the size you think you're going to go through it. But to be fair, I have been using it quite a bit, obviously from doing looks and just in general. But like I've got a backup and I've not even used the backup. I'm not even on the backup yet. So it is actually really worth the money, I'm just saying. So again, I digress. So we're just literally going to do the halo. And this part can be messy. Just try and get it as even as possible. For me, I like to use like my pupils as a guide, just so I know not to go too far over. As long as I know that the majority is covering like the pupil evenly, then I know it's all right. Basically, hope that makes sense. But. That's just how I like to do it. Okay. It's somewhat even, like, I just want it, oh my god, can I speak? I just wanted it to be, like, just slightly just above the crease so you can still see it when my eyes are open. So, um, yeah. Do it however you want to do it, however your eye shape is, whatever your eye shape is saying, basically. Do that. And then I'm going to go back into Rowdy, back in with the E17 brush. And then we're just going to blend out the harsh edges. And it's best to do this before you put down like the shimmery shade. Even though we are going to blend it into that shade again later on. I just prefer to do it just so I can just get like a rough idea of how it's looking. Then I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm going to go into this shade is so beautiful, it's Queenie, oh my gosh, this shade right here, it's gorgeous, it's like, I don't even know, like it's like a gold, like a true true gold shade, it looks stunning, I'm just going to use it on like a flat um, packing brush and I'm not going to wet the um, eyeshadow because you really don't need to. And you're just gonna pack it on. Well, I think mean, this is as best as I'm gonna get it. I ain't no pro. Do you know what I mean? So, next, we're gonna do a baby wing. And when I say baby wing, I mean baby wing. You don't want to do anything too big um, to take away from the halo eye. If you're not comfortable with a wing, we leave the wing out to do either winged out lashes or even use um say a black eyeshadow and um just do a wing like that but i'm going to do a little baby wing today and i'm using if i can find it the mac 210 brush with the ingot number 77 gel eyeliner just wipe off some of this oil on my face although my skin is not as oily as it usually is and I think that's because I've been using my Ulla Hendrickson um, products I've been using the daily face wash and I use the scrub and I use the mask and I'm not gonna lie my skin is not as oily as it usually is time for skin Skin, skin, skin. And hmm, what am I gonna start with? Sure. So first, I'm gonna do eye cream. I'm gonna take the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery eye cream. 
yeah it was just in a little sample like I don't have the actual version but I got this little sample Mans has been getting through it I'm gonna take my Neutrogena Hydro Boost cream just to give me some hydration I actually think I did go in with this thinking about it I think I did And then for primer, I remember I did use the e.l.f. priming stick, I'm sure this is, what is it, um, yeah, coconut and shea butter. Can I get away with it? Okay, I'm going to go away with this because I've not used it in a while and I really want to use it. But it's going to be dark. This I bought when it was summertime, not this year, last year. I think it was. Um, this is the Revlon Color Stay um, Oily to Combination Skin um, range. Um, it's in the shade Caramel, number 400. Do you all see that? Can you all, you all see? Do you all see? Can you focus, damn it. Do you see how it's just staying there? Listen. I mean, I was going to go in with a beauty sponge, but I'm feeling like a brush now. Let's try a brush. And shall I try this one? Shall I try? Yeah, I'm gonna try this. It's the one that I got from the MUA palette, which I tried. Can't remember when, but yeah, I'm gonna try it with this brush today. And I'll probably go over it with my beauty sponge. Okay, the shade is not too bad. Let's just. Oh, it's a beautiful colour. Really nice. But, oh, this is nice and it actually blends in so well. It actually blends in so well. Like on camera, it doesn't even look too mad on camera. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I'm happy about that. Like, I don't think I want to go over, like, I don't know if y'all can see. That's what this thing's looking like. I don't think I even need to go over it with my sponge because I'm like happy with it. I'm happy. So let's just move on. And for um concealer, I'm gonna go back in with the NARS. Contour, look on contour. And I did go in with the Too Faced in Toffee, but I did buy the L'Oreal Paris Perfect Match Concealer. I thought it was True Match. Perfect Match or either True Match, I'm sure it's True Match, in the shade 8.D slash W Caramel Toffee. And to me it's like a dupe, like it's, it's so good, it's so creamy. Shades like almost identical. I really like this and so I'm going to use this one today and if you've not seen <clears throat> I'll put it someplace but oh my gosh I used the other one the um what would you call it what would you call it the infallible concealer I think it was in the shade coffee oh my gosh <laughs> after like link it somewhere because you actually have to see because it, it was actually my like my skin <gasps> oh my gosh when i tell you i actually messed up my face base i messed up my face base i managed to fix it but it was just it, it was a mad one it was just one the shade was a bit too dark and two it was really pigmented and i put a lot on and it was just abysmal but i like the color it worked out in the end go and watch that video Obviously, after you've watched this one, you know, go and show it some love. What? Yes, hunty. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm not going to go into the Charlotte Tilbury powder because if you watch the video and you see this video, you will know why. You will know why. Mm -hmm. She did me dirty. She actually did me dirty. 
but it's fine. I've got another shade, I've not tried it yet. I'm gonna do it in the first impression, so it shall go, it shall go. So I'm just gonna go back in with the Fit Me powder because at this point, this is the only light setting powder that I have. Okay. Next, we're gonna bake. We're gonna bake. We're gonna bake. I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier because it's running out, and I'm gonna have to use my spare one soon, so I might as well finish this one. But honestly, I can't wait. Like, I've got like their what do you call it? Their concealer. A man wants to use that and the powder together. I just want to see how it's gonna be because I've only just used Laura Mercier for like the setting powder, and I know they do like lip. Um, stuff and like eyes and like highlights and stuff. A man's more dabble, but the, like, the concealer was just calling me, and I was like, I have to try it. So I'm gonna try it at some point. I don't know when, but I will try it. But I just love this powder and I love like the finish of the powder puff. So I'm hoping I'm have high hopes. She's got high hopes. She's got high hopes. I don't know the words after that. Oh. Alright, so I'm going to go back in with the palette. And what do I take? What do I take? Was it rowdy again? Yeah, I think it was. But I think I only took a bit and I put it on like a really, really fluffy brush. So. So I'm gonna go back in with my E17. I'm gonna tap one time, tap in one time into Rowdy. Was it this brush? No, it wasn't this brush because this brush is a bit too big. <laughs> the Morphe E18 brush. Tap into that, you know. Tap into Rowdy, and we're gonna bring. It. And then, so I think we're done with that palette for now. No, no we're actually done with that palette. Um. I took, yes, I took you. This is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible. Their Infallible range is actually really good. Um, I just realised it's Infallible, but it's their Eye Liner in Shade Navy Life number eight. No, number sixteen. And yes, it's sharpened. Don't need to sharpen it. And then this is literally gonna go into the waterline. So I'll do that, wipe off the bake, and come back, and we can finish with a finish. Mm, next, it's and because I want this to be a matte look, do I even have like the powder thingy? No, I don't. So I'm just gonna put it in this lid. The world's tiny lid. But this is the Revolution Luxury Banana Powder. Um, I can't bake with this. It's it's too. It's too drying for me. Like I've tried, I've used hydrating products. I've not baked for so long. I've drowned my face in Fix Plus and everything. But it's just powdery. It does look nice after like a few hours after I've worn it. But for that initial, I say for a good like hour, it's just looking powdery. I can't do it. But for an all over face powder, we kind of we like so. And you know what's gonna happen. <sighs> I knew not what's gonna happen. So do you know what? Listen, get you a robe. But today I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. It's like a bib. But I'm gonna use this to set like that to set my skin flawless. This you just can, and then we're gonna do contour. And I think I took my Fenty. Yes, I did. I took my Fenty in Caramel Cutie, which is a good shade. I wonder if there's anything a bit warmer. I like it just to be a little bit warmer. 
Um, but today I'm actually going to use it with my E4 brush actually. Never used it with this brush. I normally use a fan brush, but let's just try something different. I like that. And I don't think I use any, um, uh, what do you call it? I don't think I use any blush um, from looking at the picture. There was no blush on me. Shall we move? Um, so, what I'm going to do now is, let's put the button on. I'm going to set the skin and I'm going to use my Too Faced Hangover um, primer. It's, what is it? Is it Hangover X? RX? What's it called? The Too Faced Hangover Spray. That's what I'm going to use. I just thought it was called something else for, for a split second. I was like, that can't be the name. But yeah, I think it's just a priming spray. <laughs> mm. And then for lashes, I'm sure I went in with these. It, um, it rings a bell. It was the Doll Beauty Lash in the style The Lord. With the lips. I mean, I just... Like my favorite one of like I've got many favorite liquid lipsticks, but this combination is just one of the best. But like, I really do like dark lipstick. Like some people like nudes, um, some people like pinks. I like a whole collection. Okay, I like browns, I like nudes, I like pinks, I like that. So, but from one of my favorite dark lip combos is the Morphe lip line in Vibes. Bar is another good one, and the. Cat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Crucifix. Formula on this is good. Formula on this is good. They blend together. What more could I ask for? First time, bomb. Listen, get you a lash applicator because it actually makes things just a little bit easier. But these are the eyes, these are the lips, this is the finished look. I'm impressed. So, what I'm going to do, well, I'm already changed. So, I'm going to put on the wig and a hat because I'm not brushed the wig. The wig is the same in the picture how it was. My ain't brushed it, my ain't done nothing to it. So, I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna finish the look. Hey, so this is gonna look where you're thinking the eye look is doing up, you go out nice, probably with you know halo wise and very much party esque. And then you're thinking, then why would you wear something so simple? I really like the contrast sometimes, like the eyes are the main focus, and then I'm just comfortable, I'm chilling. This is where you dress when you want to be comfortable, not do too much, but you want to still look, oh my gosh, he's so loud, but you still want to look kind of like put together. So it's like, you didn't try, but you kind of tried. Do you know what I mean? So everything here is so comfortable. Pants from Primark, men's section, size medium, top, as the George, um, this isn't a large, and to be fair, the match is on point. The match is on point. The top, it's a halter neck top. I don't know if you can see you know how it like ties back to the back. Well, it doesn't tie, but you know how it like swoops around your neck, I guess, from Boohoo. I think it's a size 14, I believe, and then the hat. Is your closure? Can you read the hat? There you go, pretty little thing. And this is what you would wear when you just vibes in. Like, I would wear this on holidays. You know, like if you're going to go on like a family holiday, maybe you're going to Blackpool, maybe you're going to like a campsite, whatever. You wear this, you're comfortable, you're warm. But then you're done a little something, something on the eyes. Do you know what I mean? And 
I just like that look sometimes where like the face is like beat but then the outfits are kind of plain if that makes sense but yeah I love this look like I wear this I have worn this look to uni before like it's just so comfortable like you're there sometimes the your face can be cold but sometimes you need the jacket or sometimes it can be warm and they surprise you so you can then take off the jacket and with the jacket off I mean should I take it off might as well but this is what it'll be looking like without the jacket which again still works like this is something like also like if you're chilling like say with maybe like male friends or like your boo thing and you just want to be comfortable you just throw it on but it's all coordinated it's all white you know white is godly yes it is but the only problem is this top is a bit see-through regardless of light no light so wear a white bar that has no pattern on there um because i can see this pa the pattern regardless of the rhythm in front of the camera or not so just so be mindful a bit of that well i'm in love i'm in love with this look and i hope you guys like it too so that is everything i hope you've enjoyed today i hope you like the look i really like this look like with this what you can do you can dress it up dress it down today i've dressed it down and i'm still not mad at it i think because everything's quite like neutral and it's like brown lips with the brown eyes and matching with that skin tone it's just a vibe it's a real it's just a vibe and the hat honestly was because i couldn't bother to like lay lace do all that so honestly get you a hat just throw the hat on but again still living for it yeah i hope you like it like comment subscribe do all of that and i'll see you guys in the next one